There was a man whose name is revered by Jews, Christians, and Muslims alike. He was born into slavery among a people who had been held captive by the Egypt of the Pharaohs for 400 years. He led a rebellion against the world's greatest empire and handed down a moral law that has stood the test of thousands of years. His name was Moses. dream, O oh Pharaoh, it comes from Ra himself. What does it mean? A time of danger approaches for you and for Egypt. Ah! Oh. Oh. The danger comes from a slave Hurry, child. Quickly. A child who will become a prince of Egypt. Ah! And then? Bring down both force and rider. Where can this child be found? Where can this child be found? A boy. Sacrifice their lives for his.
me. Set adrift on the Nile by his birth mother, he was found by a princess of the royal household. This is a slave child. I don't care. I was meant to find him. The Pharaoh had all the slaves, male infants killed. He had a dream that one of them would lead a rebellion against the throne. But really, I didn't find him. He found me. You cannot let him live. I shall call him Moses. What if he is the one who's destined to bring down the Pharaoh? If power is meant to change hands, if this child, if he is the future, if he is the chosen one, then he will bring wealth and power to those he thinks of as his family. You saved his life. He must know that. He must know what he owes you and me. Send someone to ask if any of the slaves will be a witness for a newborn child. His mother will say yes. What if it's a trap? We have to risk it. For his sake. Tell her you will take the child back when it's safe. Until then, she's to care for it as if it's her own. When I give him back to you, promise, promise that he'll know those are his people too. No, no, no. The princess gave birth to another son, Menereth, but she loved Moses no less. Put your full weight behind it. Right, once again. The brothers grew up as children of privilege, trained to take their place among the many princes of Egypt. As part of their education, they were taught the hidden mysteries of the House of the Dead and of the sun god Ra and the many other gods of Egypt. You may want to cover your noses and your mouths. but a shell given the breath of life by the gods and when that breath is taken away from him this is all that remains how many gods are there in the world oh as many gods as there are nations as many gods as there are men who made the gods I'm afraid I don't understand your question where did they come from they just are they are part of the natural order of things Look long enough, and very soon, what happens? The stars begin to make patterns. 
and it's possible to understand those patterns and predict how they might change in time. You're princes of Egypt, not barbarians. You need to know these things. No. Loyalty is a wonderful quality, Prince Moses, but you'd be better served curbing that temper of yours. You can't catch me. <laughs> Come back here. All this time, the child had been unaware of the dark secret of his birth. I have to tell him. Why must you? Because I made a promise. I'm gonna kill you! <sighs> You've always known that you and Menorith weren't brothers. At least not by blood. I know you adopted me. And I know that two brothers have never been closer. But now you have to know the rest. Moses. This is your father. I'm Jochebed. Your mother. This is your sister Miriam, and that's Aaron, your elder brother. When you were born, it was too dangerous to keep you. We had to give you up. There was nothing else we could do. I held you at my breast until you were old enough to walk. Then I gave you back to her. Why? We didn't just want to save your life. We wanted it to be a good one. We wanted at least one of our children to have more than this. But you gave me away. Oh, it was because we loved you. Oh, oh my son. Oh, my child. Oh. The princess promised that we could tell you where you came from. That's all we want. But you should know. Then you can forget about us. sold him as a slave. He rose to become the Pharaoh's chief minister and brought us here to Egypt. But when that Pharaoh died, they enslaved us and kept us here. Do you hear that? That's the wind from the desert. That's where we came from. Men talk of the glories of Egypt, the things Egypt has built, but all of it stands on the bones of our people, is held together by our blood. Is he one of your gods? We don't worship a corpse, no matter how illustrious. Then where are your gods? Did the Egyptian ones defeat them? At one time, we believed in a god, powerful one, the only one. But he hasn't spoken in all these years. Is he dead? Some people say that. No. No, that's not true. Then where is he? What has he done for us? Why does he let this happen to us? Moses!
someone sent me away to live like that, to be a no. slave. You're a prince of Egypt. Your life was saved for a reason, Moses. You have a great future awaiting you. Forget about today. It was a mistake or a nightmare. Yes. Yes, it had to be a nightmare. You'll forget about it by morning. This is where you belong. This is who you are. Do you see a slave child there? A descendant of some sheep herder from the desert? Or do you see a prince? A prince who might one day become Pharaoh of Egypt? Join me on the next campaign and see how a soldier lives. In time, perhaps. You have to get out into the desert where the gods set rules before you get too soft for city living. What is he a god of? First, hunger and slow death? No, thank you. I like the city. All a civilized man needs is here. I have to get my men ready for review. Forget the desert. You're much more at home in a library or a marble bar. Come here. What's the matter? Don't you like me? <laughs> no, no. Please, please, please. Have mercy Get on her. Get out of my way. Please don't hurt her. Get out of my She's way. She's my wife. You please have mercy on her. Stop! You can watch. It'll be even sweeter. Leave her alone. My prince. I said leave her alone. But she's only a slave. No. Uh, what would it matter, prince? She'd probably enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? Why did you kill a man for punishing a slave? I was angry. No one should be treated like that. The body's been found. Pharaoh's given orders for your arrest. You have to leave. I won't let them take you. You don't have any choice. He has to leave now, immediately. Why don't you ask your slaves to protect you? I don't want to bring trouble to them. No, you'd rather bring trouble here. Come now. Could I stand by and do nothing? Could I? He was a slave. Run. Go to your desert and die. And while you're dying, think of what you've thrown away. Think of the destiny that awaited you here. I'll come and find you. Bring you food and water. No. No, I won't let you risk your life for me. We're brothers. Don't forget that. I'll never see you again. You can't survive out there. You of all people. I don't belong there. I don't belong anywhere. They should have let me die that night when the soldiers came. Why did I live and so many others die? Wait! The nights are cold.
could have been killed in a quarrel that wasn't yours. When a man hasn't mastered his temper, he'll find a quarrel anywhere. My father will wish to thank you anyway. Unless you have some place. Someone to journey to. Egyptian. I don't know what I am. But you've lived in Egypt. Yes. Never liked cities. Especially theirs. Unnatural. Make you soft. Make you crazy. In the cities, they say the desert does that. Makes men mad. If you can even find a way to survive, and if... Survive? It's got all you need. Not much more than that, true, but all you need. Just have to look. Seven daughters. Thought it was a curse. What did I do to deserve it? But they've learned. Proud of them. Especially that one. But to have a man around. When it's needed. Like today. I didn't stop to think. Could have ended badly for everyone. But it didn't. You did what a son would have done for me. Or a son-in-law. Even one who walked out from the desert like a man without a past. Or who was running away from one.
Gershom. I name you Gershom. It means stranger. Like the stranger you took into your family. Grass over there. Keep moving. There must be a stream there. Don't even look up there. they listen to me? Why should Pharaoh listen to me? I will be with you. <laughs> you say you're their God, my God. Well, what is your name? I am who I am. They won't listen to me. They won't believe that you've spoken to me. They won't, they won't, they won't. Throw your stuff to the ground. I can't do this. I can't do this. It's you who I've chosen. Your people need you, then you must go. Never even lived with them. If their God is telling you to go, huh. is he the same God of the mountains? I don't know. And when I asked him his name, he gave me an answer I, I didn't really understand. It's as if he wants me to discover something about him for myself.
I love her ass for this. You can always say no. The desert's a big place. Perhaps big enough for even a god not to find you. should be happy. I listened, and I'm obeying. He talked to me, I can't talk to him. It'd make the going a little easier. Moses? Moses. My son. Did I bring trouble to you? All that matters is that you're here again. You don't have to hide anymore. The old pharaoh is dead. Ramses is pharaoh now. It'll all be like it was before. You'll be a prince again. This is my wife. And my son. Where I go, they go. The palace? No. Not there. the house of Amran and Jochebed? It was. And you are? Moses. My name is Moses. I'm Miriam. Your sister. How oh, can it really be you? first and then our mother but she 
she never forgot you. I'd see her sitting there and I knew she was thinking about where you were. What had become of you? Yes. You were always her favorite. Even though you never lived here, never had to live with... Why are you back? What do you want? Egyptian. No man believes he speaks to God unless he's out of his mind. He spoke to me. And I argued with him. With God! He can be demanding. He gets angry at times. He's unpredictable. He has all this power, and yet he has to come to somebody like me to do things on his behalf. That makes him a little short-tempered at You're times. talking about him as if he's a person. He is, to me. Although he's still my God, he is our God. You are mad. He's told me how you're going to help me. Me? I know what you think about me, Aaron. But God wants to use you too. You're part of his plan just as much as I am. So God lets us be kept in slavery for all these years, and then he decides to free us, and the person that he chooses to do that is you. Helped by you. But he doesn't send you back with an army. Just that barbarian wife. You're going to lead a rebellion. You, who's never spent more than one night here. Who everyone here knows, you turned your back on us. You turned your back on everyone. All I know is that I am who I am who sent me. Who? Huh? I am who I am. God told me his name, but he wants me to think about it, find some inner meaning in that it. That name is never to be spoken. When Joseph brought us here, he told us that one of the ways that God would reveal himself was in those words. Time isn't right. Even if we believed you. The people aren't ready for this. You think the Egyptians will let us go just because we asked? You're talking of a rebellion. It takes years of planning. It takes an army. You think we don't want freedom? You think we haven't dreamed of it? The Egyptians will fight back. And we know what that means. And who are you anyway? He's Moses. He saved my life and my wife's honor. This is a good man. Whatever he has to say, you should listen to him. He may be a good man. That doesn't mean we should follow him to disaster. That we should lose what little we have. Just because he says that God spoke to him. Did he? In the desert, yes. I don't know why God chose me. I'm a stranger. I've never shared your burdens. Some of you probably think I'm more of an Egyptian than a slave even now, but I know what happened to me out there. I know what God wants me to do with Aaron's help. free men let them leave us free men we've given you our labor and our blood for 400 years now you give us something 
our freedom. My people built this. They created the wealth of Egypt. Is their freedom too much to ask in return? you have an army? No. Do the other slaves have an army? No. Then why should I let them go? Because God demands it. And where is he? This God of yours, I see my gods. My priests. I don't see yours. But he's more powerful a God than all of yours. Really? A slave god more powerful than the gods of all this? Egypt perform tricks like this. <laughs> what are you trying to prove? your people to follow their gods let us follow ours let us go into the desert for three days to worship and then what you will willingly return perhaps in that time you'll change your mind I doubt it Pharaoh will not haggle with a slave. Take them back to the quarters. They should be at work with the others. A slave is still a slave. Even if he thinks his god has told him to argue with his master. Menereth. You make sure that one knows how hard slaves are expected to work. you. This is my brother, too. I see only one of our masters. He's my brother. Is it true? You found the god you were always seeking? He found me. And did he send you back here? He does what he wants. I'm learning that. Sometimes I argue with him, but he always wins. He won't win with Ramesses. Despite appearances, he's a weak, insecure man. They're the most dangerous when you attack them. You didn't just attack him, you humiliated him in public. I don't suppose you could talk our brother into leaving things as they are. I'm his brother, you're his owner. Aaron's as hot-tempered as me. His tongue is just as sharp. Maybe that's why God chose us to work together. And die together. If it comes to that, yes. It won't. I told you. God spoke to me. He made me a promise. He may be difficult. 
Sometimes I wonder if he doesn't think he made a mistake in choosing me, but he made me a promise. He will not break it. Stay slaves, is that it? You like your chains? You want your wives and your children to live like animals? You want permission to live and die? What can we do? The Egyptians killed him. They killed him. Tomorrow they might kill you or you or you. Years ago, their soldiers, they came here in the night and they killed all the newborn males. You didn't want to fight back then. You don't want to fight back now, no. You want to blame those who want to save you from such a thing happening again. Because a man is born in slavery, that doesn't mean that he is a slave. He has to think of himself as a slave before he is one. To be a free man, you have to start thinking like one. God sent me here to lead you out of here. How do we know it was you he spoke to? And what is said? My words, my words aren't enough for you. They weren't good enough for the Pharaoh. That's the point. thought it over. Come to plead with me. Apologize. To give you one final warning. Free your slaves. God! something to me Gershom if there were any other way but I have so much to do terrible things are about to happen here. more terrible than anyone has ever known I don't want the two people who mean most to me to be here for them I know how powerful this God is He's more powerful than anyone can ever imagine.
red silt from the river. Come and see the trick. <laughs> Look at that. My people suffer because of him. Unless you do his bidding, yes. Tell him to do his worst. I'll not surrender to him. Plague after plague ravaged the Egyptians, leaving only the slaves untouched. Firstborn. Imre! I told him all about you. I wanted him to meet you. <laughs> this is Moses, my brother. A great, great man. How much longer will this torment continue? Until he frees us. He'd have had you killed by now. But he knows what your god can do. He's afraid of his power. Ramses can put an end to it at any time. A weak man is the worst of all adversaries. He mistakes stubbornness for strength. He'll fight on when a strong man would leave the battlefield, knowing all is lost. You're a stubborn man, too. Because I know I win. God will win. And then what? Ramesses will free us. And what can we do in the meantime? Pray to your gods that Ramesses will spare your people further suffering. They were your people, too, once. Weren't they?
no. Surrender to a slave. Is that what you want your pharaoh to do? <laughs> Who else cancels this? The skies rain down pestilence and fire, leaving the pharaoh and his sorcerers powerless, until the very face of Ra himself was hidden from view. Father, you see, it is not possible, of course, that mighty Egypt could be destroyed by this man. Moses and his God, but there are those who begin to fear it. They say freeing a few slaves is but a small price to pay. Benareth, how much longer can I count on my army? I'm a soldier. I'll tell you in plain words. Men have seen their women and children go hungry, seen them fall sick, seen them lose everything they have, including their faith in the power of the Pharaoh to protect them. This is blasphemy! Silence! They would rather have the slaves freed than lose what little they have. I am Pharaoh. For centuries look down on me. I am a god. I am a god. I stand firm. I will not be moved. I will not sacrifice that much of what I and my son have. Pharaoh! Pharaoh! Years ago, the previous Pharaoh had a vision of a prince of Egypt who would bring mortal danger to the kingdom. Moses is no prince of Egypt. He's a slave! No, he's not a slave. He's my son. I found him in the river. And I brought him up. As my own child. As the prince of Egypt. I told the Pharaoh, this prince of Egypt would bring down both horse and rider! Get him out! Get him out! Go! Make him go! Just the men. Women and the children, too. The women, but not the children. All. Everybody. The old, the young, every slave you own. Not the flocks and herds. Yes. No. We leave nothing that is ours. That is not for you to say. No. It's for God. 
but he speaks through me. I am Pharaoh. I am Moses. Sun, the moon, the Nile. I rule in this kingdom, and I rule in the life after death. If this man enters the palace again, he is to be killed. Instantly. us this far. There is only a little way to go. These are our last hours as slaves. Remember them. Tell your children to tell their children how bitter our captivity was. We must never forget. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Are you ready? Get ready for a journey. Roast meat, bake bread, eat with the bitter herbs that have been all we have had to savor our food with. Be ready to leave at any moment. Smear some of the blood from your meal over the door of your house. Do not forget that. Every door must have that sign on it. It will protect you. And then wait.
Let's take it too. I grieve with you. You grieve? Wasn't this your doing? It was God's. You willed it. Ramesses will give you your freedom now. Your God won. I think your God is a cruel one. Years ago, Pharaoh sent his soldiers to kill our children. I wasn't among them. My son wasn't there. Why should we be punished? I do what God tells me. If he told you to kill me, would you do it? Would you? The men and the women and the children. Yeah. With all their flocks and herds. Yes. Before they leave, their masters and mistresses will give them gold and silver. No. As tribute for the labor of 400 years. Yes. Menorith won't see you. He's still grieving for his son. For my grandson. I can't pretend to understand. Sometimes I think I don't know who you are anymore. Perhaps I never did. All I know is that I love you. You're my son, too. And I'll never stop loving you. I ever see you again? Will your God let me see you again? He belongs with us. Keep them moving. We're not safe yet. He could still change his mind. Come on.
Where do we go, Moses? Which way? Promised land? Where is it? How do we get to it? How long will it take? How will we live till we get there? There. We know who Moses is. Who are you?
led us into a trap. What kind of leader are you? You'll have us killed. All Enough! of us.
Have them collect all the weapons. We still may need them. Moses! Moses! Everyone is celebrating!
So what now? I don't know. Where do we go? Well, we need water. We'll, we'll find a spring somewhere. But after that? We'll find another and then a way to feed them once the bread runs out. What happens to us now? Now we are free. We stay together and then we wait for God to tell us when to go to the land he's promised us. What are you doing? I'm going to find grazing, water and food for my family. By yourself? Why not? No. We stay together. Because you say so? Because God has a plan for us. There behind you lies Egypt. So there's no going back that way. So it has to be the desert. We have bread for many days, but water for only a few. We've no tents. No means of sheltering against the cold of the night. None of you know how to live in the desert. Most of you are scared of it. I was too when I first came here. But I learned to live in it, and so will you. Abraham was a nomad. So are Isaac and Jacob. The desert's in our blood. We should be at home here if anyone is. So these newly freed slaves set out on one of mankind's epic journeys, led by a man who many of them believed wasn't even truly one of them, each step taking them further into the unknown. Put it down. You'd make him give up his life for yours. It's you who's risking his life, risking all our lives. What should we do? Go back to Egypt? Beg to be slaves again? By day we scorch to death, by night we freeze. How many of us will be left by the time you know where you're leading us? Nobody has to burn or freeze, but they have to work. Slaves have always their masters to rely upon. They'll bow their backs as long as their owner gives them a few rags to put on it, tosses them scraps of food, tells them what to do. I don't want to be a slave again. Then start acting like a free man. Take care of yourself and don't take what doesn't belong to you.
Your brother is a remarkable man, as remarkable as you. God speaks to him, and he speaks to God. I'm talking about your other brother. This man Moses walks in from the desert and says God has chosen him and Aaron follows blindly, without any question, just as you do. Such love and devotion, such putting oneself aside for somebody else. It's rare, even between brothers and sisters. Don't you believe he talks to God? I believe he believes that. And that God speaks to him? He believes that too. But even you have to take his word for it. It's not just his word. We've seen God working through him. Wasn't Aaron at his side? Didn't you lead the people into the sea? God spoke to him. Not to me. Not to Aaron. Perhaps he's trying to do that. It's just that you won't listen because Moses has convinced you, as he's convinced us all, that he's the one. But he is the one. We all know that. Don't we? We know that he tells us he is. A knife may be quicker, but poison is more certain, and the best poison of all is jealousy. remember? And you prayed to God to save you, and he answered your prayers and brought you here. To die anyway? You think that's what he wants? I don't know. I just know that my children are sicker now than they were in Egypt. At least there they had water to drink. They have water here. It's poison! Moses knows the desert, and he'll take us to sweet water. To the next spring. And how far away is that? Days? Weeks? How can we last that long? You'll drink this water. How? him. Isn't that right, sister? Yes. Over here! Over there. What is it? It's sicker than his Where are the children? 
Moses. Over here. Who would do such a terrible thing? Amalekites. Every spring, every date tree, every dried up riverbed has been fought over since the beginning of time. And we are going to have to fight for whatever piece of it God wants us to have. Why would someone do that? Leave the tribe, strike out on their own. Maybe he didn't trust where he was being led to. Or who was leading. It isn't only danger from outside you have to fear. We have enemies here too. I'll look out for you. I have Aaron. Maybe. But brothers have been known to fall out, haven't they? I just tell you he'll send you as much as you need every day. If you store it, it means you have no faith in him keeping his word. <laughs> Believe in him. That's all you have to do. If you do that, then he will take care of you. And we won't ever go hungry again. Or thirsty. will be complaining that they have to bend to pick it up. <laughs> There's something I have to show you. Come. I'm 
Amalekites. This can't go on. We must protect our people. I didn't train as a soldier, nor did Aaron. But we have to learn how to fight. All of us. choose to fight, he'll think we've lost that faith. What's your name? Joshua. God won't fight all our battles for us, Joshua. Wish he would. It's so much easier if he did. But this time we have to do it ourselves. And that means everyone. When the time comes, God will help us. To stop him doing that is an insult to him. There was a man whose house was threatened by a flood. When his neighbor left, he said he should come with them. No, he said, I'm waiting for God's help. The water kept rising. A man on a camel called to him, jump on, he said, save yourself. No, I'm waiting for God's help. The water rose to his roof. A man in a boat came by, he refused to get in it. I'm waiting for God's help. He drowned. He was very angry when he came face to face with God. Why didn't you save me? He asked. God said, I sent you the neighbor, I sent you the camel, and I sent you the boat. What more did you want? I'm doing what you told us to. Trust in God. I won't insult him and fight. Insult him by protecting yourself and your people. Even be. He's still thinking like a slave. When someone strikes a slave, they cower and beg, please don't hit me again. They wring their hands and keep their back bent, even while they're being beaten to death. Oh, man. A man with pride, pride in himself and his family and his pride. He says, touch me and you die. I think maybe you might have the makings of a warrior after all.
Ready. Ready, yes. First for the Amalekites, and then for you. We can't afford to risk you in battle. Nor you. But I know who should lead them. can't take the village, and we can't attack their army head-on. We have to ask ourselves, how do they see us? Who do they think we are? Ex-slaves who can't or won't fight. That's right. What do they want from us? They want to steal our flocks, kill the men and boys, and take all our women as slaves. So we use that against them. There won't be any miracles today. Today, he's testing us. If we want the sea to part, if we want the rock to split, we have to do it ourselves. With these. Seems strange to be holding these, doesn't it? We've been forbidden to carry weapons for 400 years. Forbidden to strike back when someone attacked us. All that changes today. You're the ones who will work the miracles now. Joshua will lead you in battle. Like you, he's never fought one before. But the Amalekites are fighting for loot and slaves. We are fighting for the right to exist as free people. Our cause is the greater one. And God is with us. Give us a sword. We have enough soldiers. It's for them. One sword won't fight off the Amalekite army. No, but it can make sure they won't take us alive. We won't be their concubines. Our children won't be their slaves. Wait.
the test. How many more tests like this will you set us? We fought and won today. Will we have to keep fighting and willing to show we're worthy of you? Any other battles like this will we have to fight to prove that? We won. He led us to victory. With Aaron at his side. Moses said here is where we stand and fight. True. But at what cost? How many more victories like this can we afford? I have betrayed my husband. I betrayed my wife. for a man called Moses. to 
Moses, who defeated the Pharaoh and his whole army, led his people into the desert, and got into a fight with the Amalekites. <laughs> Killed them all, burned the village. That was you. The Moses who married Zipporah, the daughter of Jethro, yes, who, who seems to want to forget me. Take any of them slaves? No. Uh, pity. All an Amalekite is good for. How did you do it? That god of yours? The one who spoke to you? We owe it all to him, yes. He spoke to you in the mountains, yes. Then he was in Egypt, and now he's here in the desert too? Yes. Take him with you. I think it's more like he's with us all the time. How? I don't know. He's a mountain god and a, and a god of slaves and a god of free men and a god of the desert. He seems to be everywhere. He still speaks to you? Sometimes, I think I hear him. But I think he wants me to work it all out for myself, if... if I can. <laughs> but he's still here. Watching. Listening. Telling me somehow that when I really need him again, he'll be there. Who are you going to fight next? Philistines deserve as much as the Amalekites got. I hope not to have to fight anyone. But I doubt if it can be like that. Where are you headed? Where are you taking them? To the land God promised them. First, there's... there's something he wants from them. From me. It's to do with the desert. Something we have to find here. Can you find it? If you don't know what it is. You weren't much of a shepherd when you came to me first. Let's learn it. But you learned well. What a hard life it is. Dangerous at times. Lonely. Don't always do what you tell them, do they? Sometimes they kick you. But they have no one else to rely on. You feed them, care for them, stop the wolves from getting to them. The sheep don't complain all the time, argue with every decision you make, plot against you. I have someone to protect me. He's the only one I can trust, apart from my brother and sister. No, you can't trust anyone. He'd lay down his life for me. Tonight, perhaps. But tomorrow, things can change. Your own family doesn't change. I taught you to be a shepherd. I taught you to survive out here. Listen to me. When you run in front of the pack, what do they see? Your back. Makes for a broad and tempting target. You cannot trust anyone. You cannot trust anyone at all. You shouldn't even trust me. Not trust you? Uh, me, perhaps. <laughs> Point made. <laughs> You're still not there. Despite all the airs you give yourself, still a long way away. You have a lot to learn. I don't think she wants you to forget her. I think she doesn't want that at all.
So you are him. The Moses whose name is famous all across the desert. You. How has this time been for you? Since my husband sent me away. Those are your sons. They're of an age to ask who the father is. What do I tell them? That they're not just the sons of a sheep herder, but a warrior and a leader of men. That we're going to be together from now on. They've been cussed. I'm a shepherd. This is my flock. I can't abandon it. We'll stay with you. We'll go on the journey with you. I can't. This takes everything I have. Every moment of the day and the night. is a long way away. He's on a journey. When it doesn't seem he's coming back from. Boys to have a father. Yeah, to have a to have a husband. And me to have to have a just remember. Just nobody. Nobody. Why is God punishing you? He's taking your brother Menorin. Made you turn your back on Jethro, who was like a father to you. Turn your back on me, on your sons. How much more will he take from you? Is what you're seeking worth what it's costing you? Because you chose me for what? To suffer? To be alone? Take it. Take it all. Do, do you want me naked? Do you want me to have nothing left at all except this, this burden, this responsibility, when you won't even tell me where I'm supposed to lead them and how long it will take? Get someone else, I never asked for it. I don't want to be the chosen one, I just want the life that other men have. 
I... I want my children. At least talk to me! Give me an answer. Give me a sign that you are there. Moses! You all right? You get lost? I was praying. Talking to God. The wells run dry. We need you to tell us where to go next. Tallow for candles, but we can't make it while we're on the move, so. And we need more wood for the fires. And wolves got into the sheepfold last night. our leader, he made himself our military commander, now he's our judge too. Philistine land, way over there. We're not strong enough to fight them yet. We'll head that way instead. Did the Philistines build that? No. It's a temple for an Egyptian outpost. How do you know that? I was a prince of Egypt once, remember? Fair work, not on. Said there wasn't one god for Egypt and other gods for other people. Philistines must have overrun it. No. The Egyptians destroyed it themselves. If the idea of God had any meaning, there could only be one all-powerful God. But if men started to question what they had been told to believe since the world began, what else might they not begin to question? One God. A ridiculous idea. 
far better that there should be as many gods as there are men. If only to keep us priests employed. <laughs> If there was one God, if he made the world and the sun and the moon and the stars, then, then he'd be everywhere, wouldn't he? He'd be a God of the desert and the cities and the mountains, too. He'd be in the wind and flames and in your heart, too. You wouldn't have to make a statue of him to worship because, because he'd be all around you and... You could be a nomad and still be in touch with him, and if you asked him his name, that's how he'd answer. He's, he's no need for a name. He just is, and he is what he is. One God, not one among many. One. The one. Have we run out of enemies so that we need to turn on our own? Is that what it is? It's come to that? I've brought them this far only to have them kill each other? We brought them this far. Aaron and I, too. I'm sorry, yes. Of course. Without you, too. So... What now? We find the killer and punish him. In front of all the tribe. You agree? If this goes unpunished, what's to stop any man from killing anyone he has a quarrel with? I know who killed him. I can name the murderer. Eliezer found him trying to steal his new lambs. They fought. It sucks for revenge. We fought, yes, and I, I did say I'd kill him, but I didn't do it, I swear! Has anyone proof that he killed him? Proof that he hid the body? No, but... Then let him go. No, I no. said... Let him go. I won't punish a man there's no proof against. Then let us have him. We are not an unthinking mob. We are a tribe, a people, a nation. Haven't you learned that? We don't blindly seek revenge. We look for justice. What well, justice is there in letting this killer go free? He's right! Where's the justice? Is there? I say again. Has anyone the proof? Anyone? Free him. I saw them together. They were arguing on the way to where the body was found.
What is it, Moses? You were afraid to say the word. What kind of leadership is that? No. No, this is wrong. Blood for blood. What other way can it be? Isn't that right? Why make murderers of us too? Make us share the crime? You've had your judgment. Let her have hers. <laughs> Not yet! He has to die. You have no choice. someone once and then I hit the body but no body stays hidden for long even if no one finds it it still comes to you in the night because you took the life from it I can never forgive myself for that even though I had good reason for what I did Sometimes I think that is what God is making me pay back for. And you? Does a ghost come to you in the night? That question in its eyes. What gave you the right to take from me the life that God breathed into me? <laughs> so ashamed. All I wanted was to serve you. You. I was afraid of your anger. Of what you would think of me. Knowing how weak I was. It was for you I killed that man in Egypt. To protect you and your wife. I know. And another man died because you chose to sleep with his wife! for just one sign of weakness. Waiting for me to favor those close to me and then they will strike. And if I fall, then this has all been for nothing. At least spare her. How can I do that and still keep the people together? They want an example to be made of both of you. <laughs> Tell me you forgive me. It's for God to forgive. But you understand I did it out of fear and anger. I understand that more than anyone else in the world ever could. <laughs> Take him.
Don't you dare ignore me! Don't you dare! I am Moses! I am Moses! <laughs> The rules I have to teach them. The rules we have to live by, but let them come from you and not from me. Please, please, say something to me. spoken to me again. You will make a bargain with us. Instead of being slaves and people without a home, we will be a nation of priests and holy men, a special nation. If we obey his laws, if we have no other God but him, shall we say yes? yes. Shall we? Yes. You asked me for justice and I tried to find it in here instead of there. Do you accept God's bargain? Knowing how terrible his anger will be if you fail to keep it? Yes! 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 You, my brother, you will be the first priest of this bargain with God if you accept. Do you accept? Yes! 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 long must we wait?
Are we Moses' subjects? Is he our Pharaoh now? Unable to move without his permission? This may be Moses' God, but that doesn't mean he's ours. Has this God spoken to any of us? Have any of us seen him? We made a promise, yes. But we didn't do it willingly, did we? He forced us to agree. He forced us. None of us have seen this God. It's not ours. They've won a battle, two battles. They destroyed the Egyptians and then the Amalekites. Shouldn't they celebrate? Instead of having Moses speak to them as if being chosen as God's people is a curse and not a reward. Why don't we celebrate? Don't we deserve to? We should wait. I love our brother. But sometimes, when he looks at you, even you, he sees someone who is still a slave at heart. He left me in charge. Then show you're in charge. I'm the leader while he's gone. Then lead. We need a sign. A symbol. Something to remind them that they're God's people. Sacrifice to I am who I am. with God. We made him a promise. We promised to have no other God but him. Why, Aaron? Why? Why did you do this? The people. They were scared. They made the idol. And you let them? When he chose them to be an example to the world. When he chose you to be his priest. You said... You 
you promised! You gave your word! You are not our leader. Your way is too hard! We can't worship a god we can't see! A god who hides from us. Oh. This god is too fond of rules! Just too much! Why can't we choose our own rules? A ten rule too many to live by! These are not oh. our rules! Even if God did not give them to you, aren't they the rules we need to live by? We don't want your god! We don't want your rules! These are not our rules! Who will stand with God? Who will stand with God? And who will stand with that? I am with you! I'm here. Brother. Brother. Sister. God's will. Will he forgive us? Will he forgive us? If, if, if he doesn't, then he can kill me too. He can kill me too. Thank you. 
God has written the words of his laws and stones so that we will have them for all time. You will have no other God than the one true God. And you will not make an image of God. You will not take his name in vain. You will keep every seventh day holy for him. You will take care of your father and your mother. You will not kill. You will not commit adultery. You will not steal. You will not perjure yourself. I saw them together. You will not be jealous of what others have. Don't agree to these laws lightly. You have seen God's power. If you say yes and fail him, he won't just punish you. He'll punish your children and your children's children. Where are we going? To the land God promised us. How long will it take? Until God thinks we're ready. Now began 40 years of fighting, danger, and hardship for this ragged band of ex-slaves on their way to becoming a people. Although God did not permit Moses to enter the Promised Land, he allowed him to see it before he died. Outside it, his grave forever unknown.